Now, as we continue to mourn the loss of NFL Hall of Famer Nick Monacani, we are also honoring his legacy. A force on and off the field, and the Dolphins linebacker dedicating most of his life to finding a cure for paralysis. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morajon is live. She's outside the Miami Project now with so much more on what he had to give. Leanne? Christy and Louie, the Bonacani name has essentially become synonymous with paralysis cure efforts. And we know that the Bonacani family has helped raise at least $500 million over the last three decades to try and find a cure in the name of his son. There was nothing more important to Nick than the Miami Project and improving the lives of people sitting in wheelchairs. Dr. Barth Green remembers his friend and co-founder of the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis, Nick Bonacani, whose name, face, and Dolphins memorabilia appear all over the lobby. And I was on Nick's team, the greatest, greatest teammate ever. With Dr. Green's help, Bonacani founded the Miami Project in 1985, after Nick's son, Mark, sustained a spinal cord injury during a college football game. It left him paralyzed. He asked me if um, I would accept the responsibility and the privilege of caring for his son, and I said, of course. What started as a treatment agreement became a passion project and Bonacani's life's work after his own football career. Nick donated his life to his son and to our cause, and, and Nick really stimulated a renaissance in neuroscience research. Bonacani's loss is also personal for Dr. Green. Well, my reaction was very similar to when I lost my own father. Mark Bonacani's relationship with his dad, I'm sure he'll talk to him every day and he'll look up and seek his advice. We're expecting Mark to pick up the ball and run the rest of the way. So what does he mean by taking the ball and running the rest of the way? Well, Dr. Green says that he fully expects Mark Bonacani to continue his father's legacy here at the Miami Project and sort of take over for him after his passing. We should note that at the last few years, Nick Bonacani had really suffered from the effects of CTE that he sustained after years of concussions and injuries on the football field, but that did not stop him from calling in pretty much every week to check up on things here, his love and his passion project until the very end. We're live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.